guys welcome back to my channel today I have an empties to share with you guys so I have a little trash can full of empties here so I'm gonna set it on my lap and we're gonna go through this bucket and talk about the products and let you guys know whether or not I would actually purchase them again so let's get to it so the first item in here is the Neutrogena Naturals this is the fresh cleansing makeup remover so basically it's a cleanser and it removes makeup I kept this in my shower for times where I was like in a hurry and I wanted to wash my face this is a very gentle cleanser I feel like this could be compared compared to the Purity Facial Cleanser from Philosophy because it's so gentle on my skin. It did a good job of cleansing my skin. My skin never felt dry or dehydrated when I use this. And I wash in like a hot, hot shower. So it's not like I'm washing in lukewarm water, which is what you typically should be washing your face in. So it didn't dry me out. So this was a really good product. I would definitely purchase this again. The next thing is the Brazilian Crush. This is Basel de Janeiro. This is the body spray. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so good if you guys were having like the blues over the winter or you're like having the blues right now ready for spring and summer to arrive this will help you get through because it smells like summertime in a bottle i love the way this smells it lasts on my skin not for a super long time but for a good amount of time i like to keep this in my purse because it just smells good and everybody's always like my gosh it smells like summertime i'm like yeah i know so i love this i will definitely purchase more the next thing I have two room sprays from Bath and Body Works. You guys know I always have these in my empties because I like to tell you guys about them whether or not they smell good. You guys know I will always purchase more but did it smell good. So the first one here is the Frosted Cranberry. I like this one but it wasn't my favorite. It smelled very very fruity. It almost smelled like wine. Every time I sprayed it I'm like my room smells like wine now. It smells like I've been drinking all day. My husband's gonna come home and be like what were you drinking? It smells pretty good. But no, I'm not sure I would purchase this one again because it smells too fruity for me. I like more warm scents. So for me, I like something very warm scented. This is just not my favorite. The next one is the linen and lavender. Now this is the exception. Anything that goes into like my bedroom or the kids' bedrooms, I like for it to smell like fresh laundry. This smells exactly like fresh laundry. So you spray this in the room, the room smells clean at all times and I have boys. And let me tell you, sometimes the rooms do not smell so fresh. So this makes the rooms always smell very, very good. So I would definitely purchase this again. This smells amazing. The next thing is this right here. This is the Tea Tree Body Bar. So this is a cleansing and shaving bar. Gosh, I hate the smell of tea tree. Am I the only person that hates the smell of tea tree? I think it smells absolutely disgusting. Even the box smells like it. Even though the bar of soap was like wrapped in plastic, it stinks. But I know it's good for like acne prone skin and things like that. And I have been getting a little bit of acne on my arms. I'm like, why am I getting acne on my arms? I have no idea why. But I feel like this was helping a little bit. But for some reason, I just cannot stand the smell of it. So I probably won't purchase it again. I'll just use something different. I just can't tolerate the smell of tea tree. I don't like it. The next thing is from Bamboo. This is the Alterna. This is the One Minute Recovery Mask. This is an after sun treatment. It's got... It's free of parabens, sulfates, and synthetic color. I didn't notice it did anything at all for my hair. Basically, it was just like putting lotion in my hair. It didn't even like condition my hair, so my hair was still very tangled. I felt like it did nothing at all. So, no, not purchasing that again. The next thing is from Luxme. You guys have never tried this before. You have to try it. If you have extremely dry skin, I get very, very dry skin like in this area right here and around my nose. It gets uber, uber dry in that area. I like to put this on. It's a very thick cream. It has an interesting smell to it. It's not a bad smell. It's just a very interesting smell to it. It's very natural. I think it's only like got like three ingredients. Let me see what the ingredients list is. So it's got or no I'm lying it's only one ingredient it's pure nilotica reserve so basically it's like a tree is where they get it from I'm not I know I read the backstory to it one time before but I cannot remember exactly what the backstory is to it but I know that it's a very very interesting backstory so if you're interested in it definitely check it out but this is amazing for very dry skin and it says you can use it on your lips you can use it on your hands you can use it on your face so wherever you have very dry skin you can use it the one thing I will tell you guys this bottle is like glass or something and it's very heavy if you have a granite countertop or anything like that, be careful where you put it because you can chip your granite countertops. You can. So either way, I would just be really careful with this, but it is a really good cream. Keep it somewhere like on a flat surface. That's what I would do with it. The next thing is from 
Farmhouse Fresh. This is the Whoopi Cream Shea Butter, and this is for your body. I purchased this last February. That's how long I've had this. I've had this for a year. I purchased it when we went to Florida. Ugh, I love the smell of this. It smells so, so good. I would love to purchase this again. I, I think if we ever take a trip back to Florida in the area that we were in when we were, went to Disney, I would purchase more of this. But until then, I won't be getting it. It smells so good, though. It smells like cake mix on your body. It smells so, so good. But it's not super hydrating. I think it just smells good. I don't think it's very good for hydration. It just has a amazing scent to it. So I love it. It's a glass bottle. So I think I'm going to actually repurpose this in my craft room. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to try to repurpose it because I like to try to upcycle things. So I'm going to put that down to the side so I can remember to repurpose that item. The next thing is from Sephora Collection. This is the Beach Vibes. This is a fresh moisturizing body milk. It smells beachy, but I had a hard time getting the lotion out of this bottle. Once it got down to about a quarter of the way full, it was not pumping through. And I had to like take the top off and get it like shake it onto my hand and get it to come out. I had a really hard time getting this out. It smells really good. It's not super expensive because it's a Sephora brand. Sephora brand is not that expensive compared to like the other things they carry and they're on their website and in their stores. It does smell good. Would I say it's comparable to the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom? No. Brazilian Boom Boom smells a lot better than this, but this smells good. It's not bad at all. It definitely has that beachy vibe to it, so if you're interested in it, I would check it out, but I'm not sure that you're going to like the pump to it because the pump is a little, makes you a little angry when you're trying to get it pumped out when you're in the, coming out of the shower and you're cold standing there trying to get dried off and put your lotion on and you're like, come on, pump, and it doesn't do it, so it's like a little frustrating, but either way, it's good. It's just, I'm not sure I would purchase it again. The next thing is from Elemis. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. We got this in BoxyCharm and oh my goodness, I fell in love with it because it did a great job of hydrating. I use this as a day cream. I use this before makeup. I was using this all the time. I couldn't stop using it. Once it was completely empty, I was like so sad because Elemis is a really expensive brand. I know I had tried it one time before on a cruise ship. I had gone into for a spa day. So they had did like this facial treatment on me and they used all Elemis products and then they were showing me like hey if you want to purchase everything that we tried on you today here's the price line and I'm like oh, oh my no thank you I think I will stick to my uh, other stuff I have but either way this is really good but it's really expensive the next thing is the Dr. Teal's these are the pure Epsom salt soaking solutions this is the eucalyptus and spearmint you guys know I love these there's probably going to be more of these in the little container here but I love the Epsom salts because I think they do a good job of relaxing your muscles if you did a workout they really relax you they smell good I love them I will always repurchase those then we have the belief true cream moisturizing balm I've used a lot of moisturizers you can tell it was winter time this is my favorite moisturizer hands down hands down this is my favorite one because my skin absorbs this very quickly it doesn't leave me greasy or oily or anything it doesn't smell strange it has no scent to it it just works really well under makeup it really works really well as a nighttime moisturizer i can put it on thicker at nighttime and like kind of like use it as a mask it's really good guys if you have dry skin try the belief true moisturizing balm it smells so so good they have the aqua balm too for people that have like normal to oily skin I love the moisture bomb for my dry skin sorry my dogs are barking my husband's home so I didn't spray the cranberry stuff so he won't think I was drinking today at least so the next thing is the tree hut this is the shea sugar scrub this is in passion fruit and guava these are really really good as well I love these sugar scrubs because they work well for like getting your dead skin off your body and then shave once you do this and then shave you will get a very close shave your skin feels very smooth I love the way I haven't found, no, I'm lying. I have found two that I'm like, I don't really like the smell. But this one smelled really, really good. They work really well for me because I like to use them. This one smells like, I don't know, it smells like gum. It reminds me of like tropical fruit gum for some reason. But it smells really good. It works really well. It's a thicker granule, so definitely don't rub super hard on your skin, but you can rub hard enough that you're going to exfoliate your skin. I love this. I will definitely purchase more. And then we have the Kapari Coconut Melt. I use this to take off my makeup. I love using this to take my makeup off with because I feel like it smells good. First of all, it smells like coconut cookies. Second of all, I don't have that blurry part where you, sometimes if you use certain products to remove your makeup off, like you can get that blurry little vision thing where you have a problem where you're like, oh my gosh, am I going blonde now or what? 
but either way this works really well for me i know a lot of people say you can use just regular coconut oil i don't know i trust this brand so i'm going to use this so either way you work whatever works for you works for you if you don't like this and you'd rather use coconut oil that works too but i really love the kapari then we have the Kiehl's. This is the Midnight Recovery Botanical Oil Cleansing Oil. This was actually pretty good. I would say this was good as as good as the Kapari. This one here, though, I felt like it would seep into my eyes, and I would have a little bit of that blurry vision problem. But this one smells very botanical-like, so it smells very herbally. It smells good. So if you like the scent of like more herbally type stuff, you would like this one. And I believe Kiehl's is a brand that is purchased that you can purchase at Sephora. I purchased this in like a gift set a while back, but this one has squalene, evening primrose oil, and lavender essential oils. I'm not sure how good lavender essential oils are for your skin, but it has it in here. So just in case you're curious. The next thing, I would probably not purchase that again, just because it's expensive. And I would probably purchase the Capari over that, to be honest. Whoops. We've got more of the Dr. Teals, and it's the same scent, so same story. I really love these, and we'll definitely purchase more. Then we have a little empty bag here from Shiseido. These are the facial cottons. So I have recently switched to something else, so I probably won't be purchasing these anymore unless I find that I need them for, like, maybe traveling or something like that, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm probably not going to purchase these again, but these are really good because they don't leave any kind of lint behind. They're super, super soft. They feel like... I don't know, real cushy on your skin. I love the way these work. So if you are interested in trying these out, I would definitely recommend getting them. Ulta has them now and Sephora has them. So I would wait for a coupon because they're like $10 a bag. So it's expensive for facial cottons, but they work really well. Then we have the Rock. This is the Daily Resurfacing Discs. I like to cut these in half and then use them that way. These work really well to make sure that your skin is definitely exfoliated. I don't use them every day just because my skin is dry and I find that if I use them every day my skin starts to get a little bit sensitive but if I use them every other day they work really well. I love these because they're affordable, they're not super expensive, they work well, they definitely exfoliate my skin so highly recommend. I think you get like what 28 discs in here so if you cut them in half you get 56. Is that right? <laughs> Something like that. Either way, you get you get your money's worth. So I will purchase again. Then we have the Soap and Glory. These are the Fizz Ball. These are the bath balls, bath bombs. I had never tried like an actual bath bomb before, believe it or not. I wanted to get some when I went into Lush one time, but I was so overwhelmed when I went into the store. I was like, oh my gosh, which one do I get? So I didn't get any. <laughs> so I tried one of these out. They smell really, really good, but this one has sparkles in it. So when I finished using this, I had sparkles all over my body. And I'm like, that's not the look I was going for. So I probably wouldn't purchase this one again. It smelled really nice though. So if you're looking for something that's interesting and you don't mind the sparkles, it smells good. The next thing is from Sol de Janeiro. I purchased a small one. So this is like pretty much full guys. Everybody else got one in BoxyCharm. I thought I'm going to just purchase one because everybody got one in BoxyCharm. I didn't get one. So I went on to Sephora's website and I purchased one. <laughs> I don't like the smell of it. Everybody said it smelled like popcorn. They're right. It does smell like popcorn. It reminds me of like kettle corn a little bit. It has that smell to it. But once you put it on your body, it doesn't smell like popcorn. It just smells bad. It's sticky as well. I found that this is kind of sticky on my skin when I'm using it. My fingers are sticky. My skin is sticky. I'm like, what is wrong with this lotion? It's nothing like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Brazilian Boom Boom Cream is more like a cream. This is more like a gel. And it's really sticky and stinky. I'm like, no. So I'm going to give this to my mom and see if she wants to try it out because maybe she'll like it better than I did because for me, it's a no-go. The next thing is the Jave Dead Sea Water Roll, Dead sea Water Roll, <laughs> Water Mineral Hand Cream. This is in Sea Kissed. I love this hand cream. It smells absolutely amazing. It's got a very light scent to it, so you can put it on while you're working. You don't have to worry about anything overwhelming. I do have sinus issues that I deal with, so anything that's super strong sometimes can give me a really bad headache. This one is very light scented. It doesn't cause a headache or anything like that, and it works really well for my dry hands. I love the way this works. I will definitely purchase more. Then we have the perfume. This is In Full Bloom by Kate Spade. This one's a little bit strong. I would not purchase this one again. I don't think it smells as good as the, what is the other one that I really like? I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, there's another one that I really like from Kate Spade, but this one here is not my favorite. I don't really enjoy this one. It smells a little too overpowering for me. Like when I first got it, I was like, oh, that's good. The more I used it, I'm like, oh, no, 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 not for me. And then we have a little Ulta Beauty Brush Cleansing Solid Soap. This is basically full, guys. 
the reason why it's full is because it doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't do anything it's like putting I don't know nothing on your brushes it doesn't clean them I feel like I had a hard time cleaning my sponges with this it just doesn't work it smells good it smells like a like a mix of like oils and stuff it smells good but it just doesn't work to clean your brushes and I think that's maybe why it doesn't work it's got so much oil in it to keep your brushes like hydrated but it just doesn't work to clean them there's like not enough soap or something in there so either way I don't recommend these I will not purchase more then we have three more things in here I'm gonna set the bucket down we can put that to the side now the first is an eyeglass case so or, or contact case I purchased this at Walmart so I thought it was really cute because it has these two little sides that pop up the reason why I don't like this the reason why I first of all you should replace these every so often you should replace these I think it's like every two months every 30 days I'm not sure exactly how long but either way the reason why I don't like this one is because if you even leave it tilted to the side just a little bit all of your eye solution comes out you go to open it up the next morning and your contacts have nothing in them and it's like what the heck so they were sitting in there with no solution or nothing so you gotta toss those contacts because they're dried out so I don't like this and I will not purchase more like this oh I just threw it then we have something from Laneige this is the water sleeping mask this is a little tiny size one this works really well I think if you're looking for something like an extra hydration for your skin at nighttime try a water sleeping mask I know the Laneige is good and then I had one from oh my gosh who was it Clarence no oh my gosh I can't remember who it was but either way I've tried a couple different water sleeping masks and they work really well so basically you put these on as your last step you kind of put them on to it's kind of like putting a blanket over your skin so it like locks everything in keeps your skin nice and hydrated and it helps you be extra hydrated the next morning so I do like this and I would love to purchase a full size on this then the last thing here is from Estee Lauder. This is the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. This worked really well for me actually and you only needed a tiny little bit. Like I put my finger in there and like whatever came on my finger was enough for both eyes. It worked really well for giving me some hydration under my eyes. It didn't cause those little melia bumps because it was a very thin consistency but yet it was hydrating. So I really did enjoy this and I would love to purchase the full size on that as well. That is everything for my empties today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'd love to know what products you've used up recently. Would you recommend them or would you say steer clear of that product? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.